Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about soil erosion and phosphorus loss. Okay, now when we talk about soil erosion, I, I just want to get this out of the way right up front. Soil erosion has been so greatly reduced by today's farming practices in the United States, it's tremendous. You look at the drought that we had this last year, it was huge. It was widespread across our whole country. If that would have happened to us in the 1930s with the farming practices they had back then, we would have had another dust bowl last year, Brian, but yes. we didn't. The soil stayed in place because of things like conservation tillage, because of cover crops, because of the way our farming practices are being done today. And this reduction in erosion is especially important when we think about nutrients that could potentially leave our fields. Well, the nutrient we're most concerned about as farmers leaving the field is phosphorus, but also zinc and potassium. And the reason why phosphorus, zinc, and potassium are mentioned here is because they don't leach down through the ground as we get rain. So if a farmer is to apply phosphorus, potassium, and zinc on top of the ground, or let's take it a step further, if you in your lawn put phosphorus, potassium, or zinc right on that lawn, it's not going anywhere unless it gets absorbed. Well, it's gonna take a long time for your grass to absorb those nutrients, and what could happen is if you have a little bit of erosion, or let's just say you have a great big rain that comes along, that could wash some of those nutrients away, and that's a problem. And when it comes to these nutrients, what we're concerned about is when you see them show up in rivers, in streams, in lakes, these kind of places, because what we're worried about seeing is algae blooms. And when you see algae growth in these types of bodies of water, what the limiting factor normally is, is phosphorus. And as Brian mentioned, that's one that doesn't move down through our yep. soil profile with rain. If some of that phosphorus runs off, that's where we see it. Now, I will, I will say this. There was a study done just a few years ago on the Mississippi River Basin, and they looked all the way up and down the Mississippi River at, a, at every farming county all the way along the way. They looked at how much phosphorus fertilizer farmers were applying versus how much phosphorus their crops were taking out of the ground and leaving the field with the grain. And they found out that farmers weren't even putting on as much phosphorus as what their crops were removing. Well, it wasn't just that study. You, you can look at USDA numbers and you, you can see what farmers are applying for corn, for soybeans, for wheat, all these different crops. And for the most part, they're not even applying as much as what they're removing. I agree with you. But here's the whole thing, Darren. A lot of farmers now have realized, hey, my phosphorus isn't going to move down with rain. And I'm worried about this because let's face it, we can never 100% prevent erosion. So what a lot of farmers are starting to do is deep inject their phosphorus or at least uh, get that down two, three inches in the ground so then you don't have as much worry. If that phosphorus is laid on top of the soil, like in a no-till situation and it's broadcast out there, then that's where the greatest risk is for loss. Well, you know, and you, you talk about that and you say no-till. Well, no-till is also one of the greatest things for stopping soil erosion. It when is. you're leaving the yep. root mass in place, when you're leaving the residue in place. So most of what's going on with no-till we think is fantastic and probably the best way to go. For guys in conventional tillage, what they say is, well, I'm broadcasting my nutrients on top, that's fine, but you know, I'm going to till that in six inches deep with my tillage tool. Well, really, you're only moving that nutrient down about two or three inches when you're tilling six inches deep. So we still have a lot of it really close to the surface. So we're not just saying, well, no-till is a bad guy or anything like that. All of our farming practices have to recognize that we need to place those nutrients deeper to be safer for our environment long term, and also we can get more out of it on a dry year. So once again, Farmers are dramatically reducing soil erosion, but they're never going to 100% prevent soil erosion. So whether you're a farmer or you're just a person with a lawn, we just encourage you, make sure you're careful with the phosphorus you're using, especially around lakes, rivers, and streams. One other thing you'll want to watch out for is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 